one of the key principles behind decisions that farmers make are the values which they begin with or the values which they're uh, uh, imposed upon them through their culture, etc., which leads them to say, this is the way I have to do it on my farm. And so I think that uh, the philosophy and so-called religion approaches the, the values that we promote in our culture are going to be extremely important in terms of the future of agriculture. I'm not a big advocate of, you know, Christians versus Muslims versus, you know, Buddhists, whatever else. I think that all of our religious, our faith communities uh, at their core have some of the fundamental principles about these relationships that we need to, cult to cultivate and develop. Leopold uh, found himself after his, his several decades of uh, involvement in, uh, in uh, the, the, you know, the study of uh, ecology, etc. He felt that what we needed to do was to uh, cultivate what he called an ecological conscience. In other words, that, you know, we have, a, we, have we still have within us a, a sense of our need to care for our fellow humans but we don't have an ecological conscience about the need to care for the rest of the biotic community of which we're only a part. And so how do we develop that ecological conscience? And um, he, uh, he didn't have a, uh, an answer to that, but this was kind of the challenge for the future. In fact, at one point he said that philosophy and religion hadn't even heard of it yet. <laughs> so he, so he was, it was kind of a, a sort of almost an offhand comment in the, in the San County Almanac, but, but what he was saying is that, you know, our faith communities aren't involved in this, and, and I think implying that they could be and should be. Spirituality is really this kind of inner, the inner self, you know, which, uh, which we all, uh, you know, think about, wrestle with from time to time, and we make decisions about based on what our our inner motives are, and uh, so it's that uh, it's that notion of spirituality. I think that uh, you know that I'm interested in uh, promoting. And if you if you present this properly uh, to whether you're talking to business people or to farmers or to uh, consumers, uh, I I find people responding to that because I think that we have again in our the culture that we've developed in. Uh, over the last, you know, since the Enlightenment, is that, you know, humans are somehow separate from nature. Uh, they have not only a right but a responsibility to dominate nature. And so it all gets down to this kind of, uh, you know, power play notion in our culture. And so we forget about those deeper inner feelings that we have. Uh, and sometimes we even try to ignore them or set them aside. And when you give people the opportunity and say, you know, these inner feelings are legitimate and we should honor them and, uh, and discuss them and make them a part of our community conversation so that, uh, you know, what, what, what kind of values do we really want to promote? And to me, that's, a, that's what spirituality is all about. You know, it's how do we, how do, how do we value the things in our own lives and our own communities and how do we relate uh, you know, to people in our community uh, for, the, uh, for the best life that we can have.